Hello everybody, Ethereum Plays here and we have another challenge video. This video is, as you are about to see, a no roll video. I've rebound roll off of spacebar and to delete, obviously a key I'm not going to press. And we're going to try and do an entire run, basically sidestepping everything or basically getting hit by everything. Uh, yeah, there'll be no dodging of any kind. I think this could be potentially harder than I'm thinking it's going to be, especially when we get to Exosuit. Um, especially as well with Deep Storage. Everything before Deep Storage, I should not really see any issues with that, no dodging. Um, yeah, I thought this could be a cool and interesting challenge. I have known there's a lot of complaints about balance and what have you regarding uh, skirmishes, so maybe this will be a case of seeing how much damage skirmishes do when you don't even dodge them. So yeah, I'm kind of curious about how this is going to go. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's going to be crazy and I'll struggle like hell. Or maybe it's just going to be easy and I'm just going to do it like it was nothing. So yeah, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to not talk anywhere near as much on this video as I have been on the previous ones. Um, I just want to mostly focus so I'll talk now and then, but it's mostly going to be uncommentated. Although the annoying thing is the fact that it's going to take ages to get around, because I'm not going to be able to roll to speed things up. as well as the fact that there is a side room in deep storage that requires you to roll so I'll not be doing that if I end up with that one I'm not gonna cheese it and just randomly start rolling for that one side room I'll just give it a pass I'm gonna laugh if I get the. Oh, I haven't. If I'd have gotten the shield disposer and the normal disposer at the same time, that would have been pretty much GG instantly, I think. Well, potentially not, because you just hug the wall, but. Yeah. So as you can see, you can sidestep everything. I got hit there mainly because I've fired too much and slowed myself down. Obviously you become slow when you fire. I could have just kept on running to gain some distance until he charged next. I'm gonna re-roll this and hopefully get the yep, potency in the dark, which means we one-shot ghosts, well, stun the ghosts in the final uh, room, I in deep storage, which is one of the most important things you can do, because it takes away a lot of the issues, and considering we won't be able to roll the attack, we have to 50-50 everyone. So I'm not actually going to cheese lobby. I'm going to just do uh, the lobby waves without roll. I don't want to take away from the challenge.
So we actually got the hardest uh, hardest spawn position for the start of this. I when the spawn on side, you know it's the hardest. So I'm not going to chase it, but I am going to stand outside. I think it's important to basically be able to use this. I don't know what you would call this. I guess just a divide, right? But it's always use the furniture and scenery within the rooms and what have you to create displacement with mobs and the is uh, cause issues for their pathing. Right, so that was all three waves on the hardest spawn without dodging. So that's one of the hard points of the game done. Um, I'm probably just going to go do the side room now because the box is the other side of the room and I can't be bothered uh, running from one side of the room to the other. Definitely reroll here. One way, which basically means we need to get this revolver. Really random tier four revolver. Although it's terrible, but still, a tier four perk is absolutely useless. By the way, it gives us a hundred percent damage on the SMG because we got both one ways, and I'm randomly spamming space by trying to speed up the run. Feels weird with our roll. It really does. Ideally, we got bloodshot here. I might even re-roll a few times to try and get it. Empty. Um. Okay, well, I'm not re-rolling anymore, so I'm just gonna get this and hope that we get more red perks before the end of office. Um, or at least in the first half of office, otherwise there's then no longer a point to actually get, um, no longer a point to actually get Bloodshot. You need 34 kills to get Bloodshot, so, or Bloodshot capped out. Obviously there's not that many mobs in, in Deep Storage, so.
I'm gonna go test on this exterminator while there's nothing left if I can actually just sidestep it straight away. Yeah, I can, so I just have to stop firing towards the end. So you stop firing three quarters through the animation and just set, step to the side. Interesting to know. I mean, I already knew you could, but I didn't know um, if it worked in complete open field. Because I normally do it when I'm on the side of objects. So, that's just easy means you don't need to roll all the time when there's nothing else around. So now it's just the exterminate, eh, the skirmishes that we need to avoid getting hit by. Right, hopefully we get bloodshot here. I'm just gonna get bloodshot straight away. I know I can reroll for platinum, so I can try and get snowball or something, but I would rather have bloodshot getting to 100% before the end of uh, before the end of deep storage. So I know I have it guaranteed. Funny thing is, is playing without any rolling is basically like watching Asmongold play Dark Souls with all of this bloody fat rolling. Uh, definitely re-roll. Um, honestly I don't want to re-roll again so I'm just going to get Soul Harvest. I don't want to re-roll all of my gold before the next room. Interesting how I keep getting this happen. When I've never seen it happen before, and then the past few days I've seen it happen quite a few times. It's like it's bugged, but at the same time it's like it's happened enough times now that it's clearly not a bug, but I've just never seen it before until a few days ago. I don't think I was ever going to dodge that in this tight space. So I just need to know that I need to kite the other one out. But honestly I don't have any health regen so this is a bit awkward. Um, I may just clear out the other room and come back to this in a sec. Do it on the way out. I think. Ah, I'm fine actually I think. Yeah, I don't know what I did there. I don't know why I pulled it in that manner. All I had to do was just use the revolver and pull it towards the corner. But I put myself in such a situation that I was just never really going to dodge it in. So yeah, 100% my bad there. So I want to heal up here, so I'm not going to go south side. I'm just going to go north into the side room. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because I want to deal with the skirmishers straight away while they're asleep. I want to go straight into the side room and pick the health packs up here. So I just need to make sure that I skip the exterminator. Oh god. Skip the exterminator. Exterminator. Gonna keep one spare. Just in case anything goes bad in the other room. Okay, we got snowball. That's like amazing.
So now we're going to go hunt the main key. Don't really need much credits. I have enough DPS for exosuit already. But I'm still going to just do it. Means if I can just hyper roll to get more damage, considering the fact that exosuit might be kind of hard without dodging. I don't think it will be, to be honest. All you do is just hug the um, hug the center point. I am kite around the pillar. Although I do need health regen because I will get hit by quite a few things on exosuit, obviously. I really didn't open the door. Oh god. Well, I'll open it and go out that way. So I have the extra uh, health pack if I need it. Bit nervous about if there's the uh, the multiple skirmishes in this next room. So like an idiot, I used my ability, so I'm just going to go clear the side room first and then go to get the key from the spectral room. Uh, honestly, I think I have the DPS, but the issue is the fact that I can't roll, so I won't be able to roll through to gain distance onto the platforms. I'm just going to do it. Part of the challenge, right? Hardest room. I mean, this is harder than the boss, so... Yeah, this was a mistake. I think I'll die. We'll see. Personally, just going to get the health recovery. I think I have enough health. I'm fine. Just need health regen for exosuit. Potentially get the other health regen as well. Yeah, I knew I had the DPS for it. It's just the aspect of uh, not being able to roll. So you wouldn't be able to roll onto the safe platform before the previous one fell if needed. Feels funny not rolling to get through to the objectives faster. I feel like I'm going so slow. <laughs> I want to reroll for the health. Perfect. Oh, the health regen, should I say? Uh, and 70% more damage at 5 meters. Perfect. Although, to be fair, I'm not going to actually have 5 meter distance on the boss all that often due to the fact that I can't roll. So I can't roll to gain distance. But this is where it gets hard. I really don't need more damage though, so if I can get 100% health, then I'm probably going to take the 100% health at this point. Jeez. 
least look at the DPS. As I said, it's, it's the next best weapon after the crossbar, but crossbar is overpowered, the SMG kind of isn't. The SMG is probably the most, or the best of the well-balanced weapons. Uh, honestly, these are all terrible. I'm just gonna pick up uh, the yellow health regen. I still have no idea if it works, to be honest, on a single person. It should, right? Because the movement speed ones do. So I have no idea. I should probably ask the devs if it does, but I don't want to bother them. More than I already do. That is. Kite back for the ghost. Force it round. Miss my ability. I have no idea how I missed my ability when my cursor was facing the ghost, but whatever. I'm not going to argue with it. I obviously made a mistake. I only need three. Uh, cyanide grenades for the final bit, so I'm not too concerned. Just basically don't mess up the remaining grenades on the other ghost. Why am I not generating as much cyanic as I'm used to? I guess I'm just used to the low level account. I've been playing it quite a few times, so. be a shame if I die to exosuit after getting this far like I'm a bit nervous because like he does a lot of abilities that require you to roll so I'm gonna have to play it really slowly and just do DPS in short bursts and kite around the pillar region every time and then another short burst before doing it again so I'm probably gonna stretch it across the four minutes no doubt because I can't get aggressive right and get caught in the open with no way out Wait, what? How did it end up here? Must have been pressing uh, down over too much. Or is it just because I'm used to the fact that when I drop off I roll and obviously that didn't give me the distance because I didn't roll? So I'm going to sneak peek in the safe room as always. Always get a glance in the safe room so you know how much you have to work with. So there's a yellow R&D and a submachine gun. I don't, or I can't see what this other one is. I can't walk in too far. So I may get the SMG if it's a tier four, because I don't want the revolver as a second weapon, ideally. Um, and I don't need much damage, so, or I don't need any damage. I'm perfectly fine to kill Exosuit uh, with the DPS that I have. Ideally, I just want more health so I can take a bit more damage here to be on the safe side, right? Is that a yellow or green cube? So I'm just going to completely skip that. I think. Because at the end of the day, it's still 15 health, right? By picking it up because of card collector. Uh, I guess I just get the 20% damage. I'm not going to bother re-rolling that. I'm going to come back in this room depending on what card I get in the other room. Uh, I said it is still 15 health, so. 15 health is better than nothing. Uh, 
Um, honestly, I could get the assault rifle, but I don't really want to. I don't like assault rifles. I've mentioned it many times. Um, honestly, I'm going to reroll once more. Okay, so I got nothing of value here. I'm just going to pick up one, so I at least ha don't have to reroll. Um, and now the question is, is if that's a tier 4 SMG, do I value it over the cube? There's no point in going back for the cube now, I rerolled too many times. Uh, so I can just get a cube from the safe room, or the gun, depending on what the other perk or cube is in here. Uh, so yeah, it is a tier 4, and it is for the most part terrible, but it is still going to be better than a revolver. So let's do a value 2 SMGs over a red perk. What's the red perk going to give me at most? I could roll the 40% extra damage, but then I would still have to use the SMG after, uh, sorry, the revolver after I run out of ammo. So I feel like 2 SMGs is going to give me more DPS, especially considering it has a health restore on it, so I'm just going to swap the SMG. I'm going to be down more health now, but it should be whatever, I think. Right, so I'm gonna not use my mic for this bit because I want to focus. Uh, I need to very much pay attention here and not mess up. I said I can't dodge, so I'm gonna get caught by some things and hopefully be able to dodge the others simply by strafing. Time will tell. Wish me luck.
I'm going to be honest, that was actually surprisingly easy. I got caught by uh, something I shouldn't have early on and lost a lot of health, but I had enough health regen, it didn't really matter. And then after that, the second phase, at least I start dodging everything, so yeah, it worked. So, hopefully you enjoyed this challenge. If you have any challenge suggestions, then please comment down beneath with your suggestions and I'll try and do them. Thank you very much. See you around. Like, subscribe, the usual stuff. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Take care.